Poetic justice was served Big game poaching is an increasingly dangerous issue in the wild pushing once thriving species to near extinction And while the majority of the popular opinion is against poaching a lot of cultural medicines and rituals call for the parts of these animals Which is letting the poaching scene thrive? Poachers generally are just bad actors taking advantage of a bad situation But it seems like a little poetic justice has been served over the weekend a suspected poacher's remains were found scattered around a lion's den. Watch on to learn the whole story. Late last week, government officials in the Limpopo province in South Africa found the remains of an alleged poacher surrounded by a group of lions. While it hasn't been confirmed that the victim was a poacher, there was a loaded rifle next to the remains of the victim. The remains of the body were so scarce that officials are having a hard time identifying the body. All they found intact were the remaining bones and dismembered parts of the body the deterioration of the body led officials to believe that the body was killed recently the incident took place on a private park in Hodesprout west of Kruger National Park while officials won't say which one it was it was either thorny brush or Kempama both are beautiful and feature five big game animals in their parks lions leopards rhinoceroses elephants and buffaloes Poaching has unfortunately been a mainstay in South African culture and if not for the sake of the survival of the species alone It has to stop a total of three-quarters of all African lion populations worldwide are declining With only about 20,000 currently left in the wild Those numbers have fallen by more than 40% within the past three generations according to World Wildlife Fund for nature statistics in January of last year, a terrible poaching incident took place in Limpopo at the Quagadon's lion enclosure. Two lions were found poisoned and decapitated with their paws and heads removed. It's suspected that the poachers were trying to sell the parts on the black market, but fled the scene. Unfortunately, the area saw a string of incidents very similar to the previous mentioned poisoning. A total of five poisoning incidents occurred in the Limpopo alone causing a state of emergency in zoological and conservationist circles Last year South Africa grappled with its policy on selling rhinoceros horns Last year the Constitutional Court overturned a ban on the domestic sale of rhinoceros horns Thankfully international sales of rhino horns remain banned 